right, so here we are back. Here we are back, so we've got Think Tank Live. So we're at the Cuban American Festival still. We've been here all day today, um, here in West Palm Beach, Florida. So I've got the honor of having Silvio here to join me now from uh, Palomino Cigar. So he's one of the big sponsors. He and Jill Baker, who was on a little earlier, kind of right. put this all together for us today. So thank you for you guys inviting us down. We You're do welcome. appreciate it. Yeah, you know, it's my um, pleasure. So, you know, what, what was your thought, you know, what, what made you decide to kind of pull together uh, a festival today? Well, we were, for, for years, we are small, the boutique type cigars, and for uh -huh. years we've been fighting the, uh, the establishment, uh, the established cigar company, or the uh -huh. big guys, you know. Yeah. So this was put together more in the idea of getting the little guys a little, little credit for what they do. The boutique industry makes the best cigars in the market, but they're the one that people know the, le the, the, the least amount. No, know? agreed. I was talking to you know some of the guys earlier, and I think it's one of those where people get locked into their favorites, and they walk into a cigar shop, right. and they head straight for the same thing every right. time. Right. It's almost like the horse putting the blinders on, you know, when they go well, to that well, one thing. Not, not only that, the the big uh, the bigger companies are the ones that have the dollars to spend in all the magazines. Right. That we as uh, as the as the small manufacturers do not have that right. that, that you know that advantage. You know, so people who get the cigar uh, the cigar magazines. All the, the who do they see? They see those big names all the time. Right. And, why, and they don't see us at all. And we really don't cannot afford to go on. Oh there, no, and I think that's magazine. that's one thing that I think is great about this festival. You know, I, I know that for me personally, um, you know, Mike and I smoke a lot of cigars. You know, we review a lot of cigars, talk things, and you know, until. Joe contacted us and we looked into the event. There's a couple of people here that we had never heard of. Yeah, exactly. To be completely honest. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, and, and that's what we were trying to do. Yeah. Get those little guys that are in the closet, bring them out. Yeah. And listen, guys, this is your time. Let's see if we can make this happen, make it work. You know? No, I think so. And so how did you how did you start out in the cigar business? How did you Well, it's, you know, I'm Cuban, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coffee, cigars and, and rum, you know. <laughs> So it's in our soul, it's, it's in our heritage. It's, right. it, my father was a smoker, my grandfather was a smoker. I've been smoking since I was about eight or nine years old. It's part of our of, of our life, you know. No, it and, is. and my family's in the business. Uh, they're in the Dominican Republic. Okay. Uh, so they they harvest uh, they harvest the land. We use uh, we process uh, five or six Cuban seeds depending on the year. Okay. Uh, you know, it's 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 grown there. They process it. They roll it. What I do is I bring it into the United States. Okay. Uh, we roughly do a little bit over half a million cigars a year. Most of that goes to Europe, to the European, okay. the Canadian market. The, the American market for a company like us is extremely tough. We don't have the dollars. Right. Or, or we don't have the investors to, to invest with us, to, to carry us on. Uh, we make a good cigar, as good as any any of us here. We right. all make good cigars. but. We just don't have that that uh, bank, that money setting in the bank right. you know, to, to go out. And, and that's where you know, hopefully today we can help out too. So we've got all of your information up on the website. So guys, if you go to it's www.palomino-cigars.com, yeah. so you guys can check that out. I know we have a lot of uh, followers in Canada and Italy and yeah. different places. Yeah. So you know, they'll they'll check that out. But we have a nice store here in town. Uh, we, we we wholesale and retail out of it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it, it's you guys are welcome to come along. You know, yeah, I know. I think we want to come by, and I think that's one of the things when I saw the pictures of your shore for the first time, what jumped out of me was the way you have the lockers. Yeah. It's yeah. the first store I've ever seen with lockers kind of built in yeah. around where the furniture, you know, everything, you know, have your private. Yeah, the, the, uh, the regulars come in, they have, uh, they have their own locker, they can have their own. Uh, my cigars and whatever they want to bring right. in, we don't restrict them. You know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, it's a place for them to come in. It's homey. Well, it's a place say, for them to come in and have a good time. It's right. like the old boys club. It's almost right. like a little, you know, smo smokers uh, oasis. Exactly. You know to say. Yeah. Uh, very comfortable chairs, air conditioning, uh, TV. They can watch the game. They can watch uh, movies. They can do, uh, listen to music. Right. We have music, live music every Saturday night. Yeah, and I think that's one of those where, you know, if you're in the area, please go by their shop, check them out. You know, it's one of those... The coffee is Dominican coffee. I'm the only one that is bringing Dominican coffee to the United States. It's excellent. It's to die for. See, so you sold me because I'm a coffee drinker. We have a, a, a coffee, <laughs> you know, lattes, uh, uh, cappuccinos, any flavor you want, whatever you want. We got it, and it's, it's to die for. Well, I think that's, you know, I laugh because a lot of people don't realize <clears throat> how good cigars go with coffee. Oh, yeah. And I think that's one thing we talked about in a, a previous show about, you know, the things that I like to smoke, you know, drink when I'm smoking the most are actually coffee 
and surprisingly soda in soda. between because yeah, it helps some clean of the, the palate yeah, off. The palate, know, yeah, and yeah. those are one of those things you see the guys go straight for the scotch, which is nice. Yeah, well, you know, but uh, but I've been, yeah, yeah, you know, but but, I, but I've always come back with that too. Yeah. You know, yeah. more traditional, I guess. But um, I do want to thank you guys for having us all here today. Well, it, um, it is our pleasure. A, it's been a great event. Beautiful day today. Um, if you guys are watching at home and you're close by, you should be out here. So come you over can, here. Can't ask for better weather than this. Can't ask today. for better weather than this. You know, for anyone who's up in the northeast right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> We won't, yeah. hold it against we, you, won't hold it, we won't hold it against you, but uh, it's not as nice weather. But, um, you know, it's been a great event today. Um, you know, we look forward to many more. So uh, this this will be we're, a good thing you guys got going We're planning uh, another event on the fall. Okay. Uh, we will let you know exactly on the date. We're, yeah. I don't know, somewhere in November uh, 5th, somewhere around there. Okay. Maybe maybe a Saturday or Sunday. We're not sure yet. Perfect. But we'll, we've got to get it together here so we can have us try it again and see if we can get uh, a better turnout. No, doing good today. But once again, Silvio, I, we really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank we're, you. We're glad we had the opportunity to come here with you guys. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to take another quick little break. A very short one this time. Mike and I both are going to come back. We're going to introduce or the winners of the Cigar Madness Tournament, so the final four picks. So we're going to have that coming up next. And then uh, we're going to close it out with some information about another upcoming event um, later this week. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and we'll uh, see you again in a few minutes. Thank you. That was Thank great. you, my friend. You did we, good. We appreciate I, it very much. I, I was static.